We're going to be making some sugar cookies and this recipe is wonderful because you can use it for pie crust, you can use it for fruit pizzas, you can use it for apple turn turnovers. It's got a wide variety of things that you can make. Now we're going to start with our butter and you're going to put that into your mixer. And you want to cream your butter until it's nice and fluffy. This will give your sugar, sugar cookies an extra boost. Once your butter is creamed, you want to add in your vanilla pudding mix. Now the Jell-O brand pudding is perfect. It's gluten free. Also the Walmart brand pudding is also gluten free, but I don't like the taste as much. So I prefer Jell-O. You're just going to dump that right in as well as your sugar. And then cream it again. Now we're going to add our eggs. And once your eggs are added, you need to cream it one more time. Now I like to scrape the sides of my bowls to make sure that nothing got left behind and everything is mixed in evenly. So I'm going to turn this on one more time because I did have some of my jello pudding that was stuck on the side. All right, once it is nice and fluffy, you are going to add your dry ingredients. And start with your lower your smaller amounts of dry ingredients. So your salt your baking powder, your xanthan gum, and also add your vanilla at this time. Or you can add it before if you want to. It won't make any difference on how these turn out. Let's turn that on. Okay. And now we're going to add our flour mix. Now these sugar cookies I have taken to several family functions or church parties or friend gatherings and I, at le I always have at least five or six people ask me for the recipe. So you will be surprised. A lot of the sugar cookie recipes that are gluten free that you can buy at the store are really grainy and when you eat them you're left with a sand filling in your mouth. Okay, now our, ba our dough is ready, and it looks like normal cookie dough would, okay? Now when you're rolling out your sugar cookies, you're going to want to make sure that you put some flour down on your counter so that they don't stick to your counter. So we're just going to take a little bit and spread it around. And tr these sugar cookies are really easy to handle, okay? They work a lot better with your hands than they do with a rolling pin. So I just always use my hand and just press it down to about the thickness that you want. And then take your cookie cutter and just cut it out and there you go. Then just put it on your pan. And we're going to make a heart one. But do you see how easy the dough is to work with? You don't find that in a lot of gluten-free cookie recipes. I'm going to cut one more. Okay, now we're going to put these in the oven and they bake for about 10 minutes. You don't want to overbake them or else they will be too hard. You want them soft and chewy when you pull them out. 
Okay, we're getting ready to frost these sugar cookies now that they're cool and out of the oven. Terribly exciting. We're gonna put some food coloring into our cream cheese frosting. And if you wanna see a demonstration on how to make the cream cheese frosting, that is on the CD. Stir it in. Also, if you wanna freeze these sugar cookies, you can freeze them. The dough also freezes really, really well. So you can send them, bake them up when you want them, send them in your kids' lunches. It works. Okay. There you go. Let's frost these. We'll do the heart first, since the frosting's pink. Valentine's Day. And let's put some pink sprinkles on. Lots of pink sprinkles. Oh, see? Your family's gonna love it. <laughs> 